Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Best Korea here in EU4 Extended Timeline. Last episode was a few days ago, so I'm a little lost on where we left off. I know we're annexing our vassal, Pakistan. We have our other three, four vassals, North India, West India, South India, and Indochina, who are coring the lands that we fed them from India. We also just full annexed Vietnam, and we're going to have to core his stuff, which will take some time. So this episode, since this is the first time, it's the first episode of the day, this episode is going to be getting back into the groove and figuring out where we left off. Looks like we have a giant mothballed navy. That's cool. You guys are saving me a lot of cash. 93 heavies. Nice. And 10 heavies down there. So we have 103 heavies. Cool. You guys can probably just dock up for now. I sent diplomats out to improve relations with some nations. That's no problem. And yeah, overextension's at exactly 100%. Cool. Let's unpause and go. We were going to reset all their rivals and shit. Oh, right. We're a kingdom now. We switched over to an empire. So we have a monarchy again. Emperor Ui Wong. All right. We'll marry Sweden. Why not? I'll marry our allies. Our current allies are Romania, Turkey, Spain, and Sweden. Do we have a marriage? Sure do. And we can't marry China because he's the wrong type of government, right? Yeah, he's a republic. All right, well, we'll keep an eye out for other uh, nations that we can marry. Germany, I remember in the last episode or a couple episodes ago, he rivaled us and broke our alliance. For whatever reason, we had plus 120 relations or something. He decided to rival us and then broke break our alliance because that makes sense. Ooh, Czechoslovakia wants to ally. Latvia wants to ally. Oh, wow. Russia took some land from Lithu Lithuania. Look at that. That's fantastic. All right, we'll probably try to vassalize one of these guys and push into Europe with a vassal. Corruption. Gain inflation or lose stability. Guess we'll take the inflation. Now, that corruption event, I think it only happens if we're above 100% overextension, but we're not. We're at exactly 100%, so we shouldn't be getting that corruption event. Oh, maybe it'll tick at the end of the month. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens to these revolt risks at the end of the month. No, they're still there. Okay, the revolt risk did not go away. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, tech up time. Diplo tech. Why not? Are we going for any ideas right now? We finished espionage. Ah, we're working on influence ideas. All right, let's save up our points for influence ideas instead of technology. Because we do want to get uh, cheaper core, no, cheaper diplo annexation, which is the next one. We're almost there. I'm going to make it cheaper to annex Pakistan. Because right now it says it's going to take uh, 23 years to annex Pakistan. But at 25% discount, it should take a lot less time. Oh, we discovered India trying to support rebels. So this is why we have to go espionage, because the powers of the world that be will definitely be supporting rebels in our land. Like Germany's going to support rebels. I don't know. Everyone's going to support rebels. Yeah, let's get relations up with these guys. Latvia wants to vassalize. I think he'd be an ideal vassal. There we go. Cheaper Diplo annexation cost. So we're going from 2089 to unknown. Oh, because we don't have any points right now. Well, next month we'll see this change then. 2089 will go down to what? 2083. So we cut six years off of our annexation time of Pakistan. That's fantastic. There's a huge list of rebels that are possible right now. We're just going to keep core and stuff. Israel will cede Crete to Bulgaria. Wow, look at Bulgaria grow. He's looking nice. And he wants an alliance too. Yeah. Guyenne entered a coalition against Israel. Really? Coalition of Guyenne. Okay. Iraq is allied to Israel. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, Germany coalitioned Israel. Ukraine coalitioned Israel. All right, I got to see this. Who did you piss off? You pissed off Europe somehow. 
yeah, 50 against France, 50 against Spain. He's got just enough for people to coalition him. Interesting. I don't have enough to coalition him, though. I got zero against him. But yeah, he pissed off Europe somehow. Could have been through claims, could have been through uh, uh, war. I don't know. Iceland has coalitioned Israel. Oh, goodness. Now I want to see this happen, because he's allied to Iraq, Turkey, and Iran. Oh, 300 admin points. Thank you. He's allied to Iraq, Turkey, and Iran, although Iran's a one province minor. But I'd like to see him defend against that coalition. Why not? Poor Russia. I love that he still has allies. Like, you think it's going to help him or something. Sweden's allied to Britain. I think I want to try to lean on Sweden. want that alliance to work. And Britain is also able to be married. So we should probably try to get into their pants, too. Nicaragua's going Merchant Republic. That's fun. Peru has collapsed. Not like there's much of Peru left. Look at Bolivia go. And look at Chile. Holy shit. Argentina's been full annexed. Peru's down to one province. Are you guys allies, Chile and Bolivia? Nope. Who the hell's allied to Bolivia? Okay, Brazil's allied to Bolivia. That's what it is. Brazil's allied to both Chile and Bolivia. Are you allied to Colombia? No. Okay, so is Colombia just independent? Ecuador, France, and Italy. Yeah. Interesting. Colombia and Chile are allies. So they're in Brazil and Bolivia are allies. So that could be a big war in South America. Colombia and Chile versus Brazil and Bolivia. That'd be fun. Spain broke their alliance with Toulouse. Interesting. South Africa has no allies. Madagascar has no allies. Oh, I should probably go eat him. Does he have increased coring cost? Nope. Namibia has no allies. Yeah, I think I should start getting into the African pie here. Because it's all it's all considered distant overseas, so it's 50% less coring cost. Are any of these considered colonial nations? Let's see. Are these colonial regions or what? Oh god, they are colonial regions. So if I eat any of this shit, it's going to be a colonial nation. Yeah, that's okay. I also want to eat Australia and get Colonial Australia going. Oh, well, it looks like we have a lot of money right now. What should we spend it on? Buildings, probably. More naval force limits would be nice. Oh, we're broke. Never mind. Oh, uh, yeah. 491 ducats for the plus four force limit building. Wow. That is not cheap. All right. Let's get uh, Latvia in our pants. You want to do that, Latvia? Get in my belly? Or Britain? Let's work on Britain. Latvia is currently an elector, so we can't vassalize him. Oceania has changed their capital to Taranaki. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Cores are rolling in. Keep on core and stuff. Okay, we're back from Latvia. Get that alliance. All right, what else can we do with you? Give you access, sure. Oh, Western arms trade has happened to us, which does what? Western arms trade, 10% cheaper technology cost. Oh, nice. So since we have a Western 
buddy who likes us and we border him, we get cheaper tech. So our tech now is 16% uh, extra, but only 6% more than what Westerners pay. Nice. Guarantee. Can't marry him because he's a republic. But we can take his trade power. And then give him a small gift. We need 17 relations. And he needs to stop being an elector. So I guess we'll just wait until he stops being an elector and then we'll send him the gift. No reason to do it right now. Egypt declared war on the UAE. Okay. Nigeria has annexed Congo. Well, rip Congo. Holy shit. Yeah, Africa is getting destroyed by Nigeria and South Africa. What's that? Bhutan became vassals of India. That's fine. Whatever. All right, how's Britain going? It's okay. Could be better. Not sure if I want to keep this alliance with Turkey, but it can't hurt for now. Let's see, Saudi Arabia is allied to Kuwait and Tunisia. It's not really a problem. So if we wanted to eat Saudi Arabia, we could do that. What's the total cost to an X? 44, not that bad. But yeah, look at this cost here. 155 development. It would take so much uh, admin points to core this shit. Gross. Too many admin points. That really is the, the drawback of conquering so much, is the admin cost is nuts. All right, he's no longer an elector. Okay, then one month of relations boost and he'll vassalize. Come on, give me diplomat, there we go. Come on back. Okay. Yay, Latvia is our vassal. How's rebel progress going? 14%, 9%, not that bad. 23%. And we lose Western arms trade if we vassalize him. Interesting. Well, let's get relations up with Sweden then, because we can get Western arms trade off of him. Let's do that. Check out Latvia's cores. Just a couple provinces. All right, no big deal. So is this coalition going to trigger or what? No? It's a pretty big coalition. It ain't triggering. Hmm. Keep building dry docks. Nobles demand privileges. What do we got? Lose prestige or national unrest? I'll lose the prestige. No big deal. Chile is now a Republican potato chip, just like us. Oh, no, no. He's still a Republic. My bad. So what are we if not a Republican potato chip? We are... Enlightened despotism, okay. Create a client state in Persia. It doesn't matter. 
Either either we spend the admin points to court ourselves, or we spend the diplo points to annex our vassal. Either way, it's still expensive. We've got a 25% discount on both, so it doesn't matter which one we do. France broke their alliance with Belgium. Hmm. Holy shit, we have 290,000 manpower. Vassalize Israel? Eh. Nah. Does he have increased coring cost? Yeah, 100% extra coring cost on Israel. Jeez, it's the same as Iran. So hopefully he doesn't get too many cores, because annexing his land, if he gets a lot of cores, is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, no one else around here has that increased coring cost. Oh, that's not true. Lebanon has plus 50%. Iraq is cheap. Turkey is 30% extra. So no one around here is, like, super cheap, except Iraq. France allied Britain. Okay. Romania wants help against Hungary. Oh. Romania, who are your allies? Austria and North Korea. I honestly don't see Austria on the map. Where's Austria? Oh, that's right. Austria took some land from... Oh, God. That's Austria. No, I'm not going to help you with that. Go away. Nope. Not my problem. I was really his only ally in that war. I'm not going to help him if, he's, if I'm the only ally. No. Max relations with Britain and we still can't get an alliance. Well, I'll probably have to rival Germany for that to work. Yeah, we'll just have to rival Germany at some point. Meantime... Get relations up with all these idiots in, in Europe. Yeah, even Poland. Why not? Poland has no love for Germany. Make a client state named Jew Containment Union? No. No. Turkey broke their alliance with Iraq, so Iraq's only ally is Israel. Ooh. Only I had points available. Well, what's his total cost? 26. Can I afford 26? I cannot. I can afford 12. Overextension. Oh, Romania, you silly goose. Serbia will see Dalmatia and Hum to Italy. So Italy is really getting... Look at that, he linked up all of his lands now. Wow. Italy's strong. Manpower is up to 330k. Wow. Thai separatists are at 80%. Alright, we should probably get some troops there. Do we have troops there? Which provinces... Daru, Krema, Le, and Madong. Daru, Krema, Le, and Madong. Daru, Krema, Le, and Madong. Why don't I see these provinces? Thai separatists. Oh, that's, I'm, that's the wrong one. Korat. They go to Korat. Chai Purum, Nong Kai, and Kukun. So it's these four provinces. All right. Yeah, we'll stand there. And then Cambodian, they're in the same area too. All right. Oh, those are the two that are about to trigger. I wish this was sort by percentage progress. Like the 80 should be at the top. There's another 80 here. Papua New Guinea. Well, Papua New Guinea, we're just going to have to ignore that one. If they spawn, they spawn. Nothing I can do about it. Dry docks are finishing. Very nice. I think I would like to patrol this. It looks like, yeah, China's got 
224 light ships, bringing them a lot of cash here. We should probably patrol that. Where's our light ships? Do we have any light ships? We have one light ship. How about we build some trade ships, huh? That's what we should be spending our money on is trade ships. Because we're way under our force limit, aren't we? Yeah, we can get 50 more ships. Let's get 50 more ships. We can also build 600,000 more soldiers, but I'm not going to do that. All right, Vietnamese separatists are almost spawned. Praying of Kor. Where else? Hue, Vijaya. All right. Let them spawn. Kazakh separatists. Now, those I didn't expect to spawn. Cambodian. All right, Kazakh is going down now. Negative zero means those are going to go down. Okay. Looks like all the rebels are going to be in this area. Good. That makes it easy to handle. The only ones going to be a pain in the ass are the Papua New Guinea ones. But those, we can just transport over. General is dead. Whatever. All right. Next month, we're going to get relations with Sweden above 150. We should get Western arms trade again. Kim Jong X. Yeah, something like that. Yay, Western arms trade. Nice. Kim Jong X. Korean history X. Okay, get another trade fleet going. If we can steal more than half of the trade in China, I'll be happy. Germany declared on Austria. Rip Austria. Nobody joined... Oh, oh, oh. yeah, lots of people joining Austria in a war against Germany. Let's take a look at Germany's war. That's not a war. That's a joke. Germany is strunk. There we go. First Rebels, Vietnamese, no problem. They probably will finish these two sieges because I can't get there in time. But that's okay. We'll siege them back really quick. Oh, China's going to help out. Nice. Thanks, China. Awesome. Bestest friends. Please don't kill me. I mean, that's really what it boils down to, right? Please don't kill me. Oh, my vassal, Best Oceania, is trying to westernize. Really? Who can you westernize off of? I don't think he borders anyone anywhere. Hi, Phobos. Yeah, I don't think this vassal borders anyone anywhere. Unless you can walk between these islands? No. How are you westernizing? I have no idea. But he's able to westernize for some reason. Hmm? Oh, he's westernizing off of New Zealand's cores. New Zealand is a western nation. So yeah, he's westernizing off the cores that already exist there. That's fine. Have I seen the new Dev Diaries? I have not. I don't hype up about shit. It's not my style. I don't like hype. Uh, let's work on Switzerland. Let's work on Czech, Czech Republic. Czechoslovakia. And Bulgaria is just... Look at that disgusting border. Ugh. I thought my borders were bad. Bobos? No. Go away. Go. Bad kitty. Er, er, bad kitty. Oh. There you go. What is your relationship limit? 
11. We're at 10 out of 11 right now. So we could take another vassal. Could take Ukraine as a vassal. But he's allied to Germany. I don't want to do that. Could take Turkey as a vassal. Yeah, he's not allied to anyone interesting. Yeah, maybe. Just slowly inch our way forwards. Thai Separatists are about to spawn. Come on, do your worst. Western Sahara has collapsed. Aw, not Western Sahara. Not Western Sahara, don't say. Say it ain't so. Western Sahara, where the fuck is that? Burkina Faso, where's, oh, over there. One province minor, Western Sahara collapsed. Psh, whatever, man. Wow, look at Nigeria all the way to the coast. Wow, Nigeria got big. Are you allied to anyone? Ghana and Somalia, interesting. Oh. Rebels. Oh, that's adorable. Thank goodness we have Sang Myung. Oh god, that was disgusting. Oh my god. Well, that was a quick rebellion. That was a really quick rebellion. Let's keep building trade ships. But you know what? That's going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks for having me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for further ventures in the lands of Best Korea. We're going to keep coring all of this shit. Looks like we can take about 20 OE right now. We're going to keep coring all this shit. We're going to keep annexing our vassal Pakistan. And uh, we're going to keep our eyes open for nice future targets. Looks like Saudi Arabia is eating Iraq right now. That's fun. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.